I'm Michael Fulton. I'm a senior at the Carroll County Career Tech Center. So this project's for a local business in our community that uh, asked me to build it for them because they needed a log splitter for the front of a piece of equipment that'll split up larger logs without having to use manpower. It goes on the front of a skid loader, which is like a medium-sized machine. It's either tracked or uh, rubber tire. But this year I decided, after being in this class for a year, to take all the knowledge I've learned from this class and try my best at building it again. Right now it has a large bend in it from just too much pressure on the end of it, so I'm working on bending it back and then rewelding a bunch of supports in it and building a four-way for it and reattaching a cylinder and building a nice cylinder guard for it. Most of the work I've been doing to it, to bend it back we've been using an oxyacetylene torch with a rosebud head on it. Uh, for all the cutting for brackets and stuff, we've been using either a bandsaw or an oxyacetylene torch with a cutting head. And then we've been using Miller and ESAB and Lincoln welders for MIG welding it back together or arc welding it. This piece of equipment is used specifically for like big chunks of wood, so it'll be a lot easier for them to use instead of having to pick it up by hand and put it on a regular splitter. With this, you can just drive right up to the piece of wood and split it without having to even pick it up or anything. Hopefully, this should only take me about a week or two in time by the time we have our class time and our limited time in the shop. By the end of this project, I'd like to know a little bit more about using a rosebud torch and just making better brackets, making it look a lot cleaner and nicer. I chose to be a part of this project because I like working with heavier steel. Um, something that in the end is going to really pay off for somebody and I mean I can see it work. I, it's something that actually has a purpose in the end I think. I plan to pursue this type of welding in a future career that's fit for me.